Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome to No Man's Sky Next. We're going to take a look at the trailer, some of the screenshots, and discuss some of the features that are coming in this new release, No Man's Sky Next. Now, this release is going to be across all platforms. There's going to be a release for the Xbox, the PlayStation, and the PC. And the community has been kind of hoping that this is going to be the second coming of No Man's Sky, after what could be called some of the letdown that's happened in the past. It has quite a loyal following within its own community, but this now I think with its additional procedural generation of all the planet and planet surfaces, the graphical upgrades it's had, we do think it's gonna be quite, quite astounding really. What well, we all hoped, the hope is there. Let's hope we're not disappointed. So let's have a talk about some of the features that are going to be here in No Man's Sky next. So first up is going to be multiplayer. You can team up a small team of friends and explore the universe together or be joined by random travelers. We have seen this in other games. You can help friends stay alive or prey on others to survive. Tiny shelters or complex colonies that you build as a team and then shared for all players. You can fight as a pirate or as a wingman in epic space battles with friends and enemies. Race exocraft across weird alien terrains, creating race tracks and trails to share online. Character customization that allows you to personalize your appearance. There's been a huge visual overhaul. The game is fully playable in third or first person, both on foot and in a ship. Planetary rings and improved space visuals make space more beautiful than ever, and it is, I think, arguably a really beautiful game. Dramatically improved planetary terrain generation, ground textures, water, clouds, bringing that environment to life, and significantly more detail added to ships, NPCs, and buildings. There's now unlimited base building. Bases can now be built anywhere on any planet, dramatically increasing base building complexity and size limits. Hundreds of new base parts own multiple bases. You can also command freighters. Assemble and upgrade a fleet of frigates and command them from the bridge of your freighter. So much more depth being added to the game. Send your fleet out into the universe or deploy them to help you as you explore a specific system. So you've got that micromanagement of a fleet of ships. Improved freighter base building allows a true custom capital ship. Invite your friends aboard and take on more challenging multiplayer missions. This really does look like to be an incredible, huge update for No Man's Sky. It's going to be a huge download and I for one can't wait. So check back for more videos in the series as I do some more coverage of No Man's Sky next. Um, we'll be putting them on the channel as well and also on one of the sister channels. So look out for more videos in the series. And if you haven't done so, click that like and subscribe button. Let's get some excitement going. All you console boys and PC fellas. Let's see if we can get this game back to where it should be, I think. Um, up with some of its competitors. See you soon.